Welcome to engineeringpaper.xyz, a new way to create and share engineering calculations that free to, is free to use and runs in your web browser. So the, to see what it can do, you can take a look at the official engineeringpaper.xyz blog. It has numerous examples of calculations showing the things that can be done from calculating capacitance, uh, torsion, electrical resistance, um, you know, friction and fluid flow. Here we can look at a buckling example, and here we can see the features of engineeringpaper.xyz. You can document your calculations um, with figures and descri text descriptions. You can have tables where you can look at different conditions, which will update your equations accordingly. You can have, you know, here's the cross-section, uh, different options there, a uh, table for selecting material. And for each of these, it'll update this plot and, and the results, and it keeps track of your units along, along the way. When you first open engineeringpaper.xyz, you get this tutorial. You can always get back to this tutorial by clicking on this question uh, button here. But to start to create your own calculation, we'll show you how to do that quick. So you hit the new uh, sheet button that creates a, a blank sheet where you can start uh, typing in. The first thing you probably want to do is just change the title to, um, to reflect what you're working on. So I'll just call this a demo. And so really, it's pretty simple to use. There's two types of uh, math statements we can do. We can have an assignment. And so we can say x equals uh, 10 uh, millimeters. And we can hit Enter to enter a new assignment. And so we could say y equals uh, 20 millimeters. And if we want to do a calculation for area, we can create a, a new variable called area. And that equals x times y. And then the second type of statement, we want to see what that value is going to be. So if we just end a statement with an equal sign, it'll give us what that area is. Right now it's giving us in meters squared. So it'll always by default give you SI units, but you can do it and specify what units you want to see it in. So if I do millimeters squared here, and I get 200 millimeters squared as the area, as we expect. Obviously it'll do unit checking for us. So if I try to do something like area plus 10, inches squared. That's compatible units, so it'll give me a number. But if I were to make this seconds, those are incompatible, so it's going to give me a dimension error. So it's always checking your units to make sure that you're not having typos or mistakes as related to units, and 10 itself is unitless. So if I just say area, then I get that value. And so you can build up pretty complicated calculations this way, and if you go look at the, the, the blog entry, we can see that these calculations are built up with these assignment statements and at the end we get the result uh, with a, a query statement. Um, another thing we can do here is solve equations. To do that we use the system solve cell uh, so if I hit that it'll insert a new system solve cell and what I do is I define a system of equations. This will be an equation with stuff on the right and left hand side of the equal sign. So let's say I wanted to calculate the velocity uh, of something that's been dropped from a certain height using the energy method. So if I do look at then I'm matching up kinetic energy with the potential energy. Um, so if I do one half uh, times m times v squared. Now I have this virtual keyboard here which I can use to do like superscripts and subscripts and things like that. I'm using all the keyboard. You can see what keys I'm using here so it's pretty easy to type in these equations times m times g times h. Um, and so I want to solve for v, so I want to solve for velocity. And it gives me the two solutions here, uh, the positive and negative solutions for this uh, quadratic equation. And so I can select which solution it's going to use in the rest of the sheet. Right now I'm not using V anywhere, so it's not going to do anything until, so I can add a math cell here and say V equals, and it's going to give me the expression. But now it's in terms of uh, gravity, gravitational constant and height that I dropped it from. So if I want to get a velocity uh, at a particular G and H, I can either do one of two things. I can define, so I can insert a cell here, another math cell. Let's say G is our gravitational constant. 9.81 uh, meters per second squared, right? And so that then it's now only in terms of h. I could also define h as a separate assignment. Do h equals 10 meters, for example. And this will give me the velocity at impact, um, as, you know, ignoring air resistance. Um, but let's say I want to evaluate this on more than one different height. So it, then I don't want to make an assignment here. So I'm just going to delete this cell. And I can call v as a function. Anytime I have an expression that's a function of other variables, in this case function of h, I can, I can pass it those variables. So I can say h equals 10 meters in this case. And then it'll give me that same number. But now the benefit is now I can change that h 
and I can have it use it in multiple places in my uh, worksheet and see different values. So I can do it twice. So h equals 10, so I can see it at two different conditions. Whereas if I set h as an assignment, it all, I can only have one value for h. But the other power of this function notation is that I can do a plot pretty easily. And so instead of specifying a particular value for h, I can specify a range. So let's say I want to see what's the velocity if I drop it from 0, 0 less than... Uh, h less than 10, I want to look at the range of 0 to 10 meters that I'm dropping it from, and then do equals, and now that automatically inserts a plot. Now right now, it's giving me a unit error, and that's because even with 0, I do need to specify units. That's in a height unit, so those weren't consistent until I did that. So it's giving me the velocity at a drop height. Uh, and give me, and I can specify what units in. Right now it's in meters per second. I can say, you know, inches per second if I want it to. On these, anytime I have these query statements, I can specify which units, and now the plot's in inches per second. Now it's showing me the negative solution. I can switch to the positive solution in my solve cell here, and that will change everything to the positive solution in the whole rest of the sheet. So that's a pretty powerful way uh, to, uh, you know, do equation solving. You can solve multiple systems of equations in one sheet. You can also solve a system of equations. So if I had x plus uh, x plus y equals one, x minus y equals zero, I solve that for x comma y. So I can solve a system of equations. Obviously, I can add units if I want to, um, but it's giving me that in this case just a single solution. So I can have numerous equations. Right now, it only solves exact solutions for systems. We're going to be adding the ability to do numerical uh, solving very soon. But to see some more advanced set, uh, examples, just check out the blog. Uh, you'll see lots of different examples, and we'll keep adding those as time progresses. Um, but this is enough to kind of get you started using Engineering Paper to XYZ. One last thing, if you want to save this for future use, or share it with somebody else, you hit the Upload the Cloud, Get Shareable Link button. What this does is it stores a shareable link um, and gives you a URL that you can access this document in the future. It's useful if you want to share this calculation with somebody else. It remains private unless you share it with anybody, so it'll never be shared only, only if you share it. So if you do confirm, it saved this to the database. Um, and it gives you a URL that you can copy. You can paste into an email, send it to somebody else, and they'll be able to open, uh, open engineering paper to XYZ, the, the particular calculation you're trying to do, or you can come back to it later. These, even if I go in and change something here, if I change this to 11, if I hit refresh, it's just going to load my saved one, and I haven't saved the changed version. So you never, the saved version never changes unless you save it again. So the only way to save it is to hit the upload button. Uh, the stuff you do locally does not get, it doesn't, the document always remains unmodified. All right, so that's a quick intro to engineering paper to XYZ. Um, if you have questions or see a bug, you can always hit the report a bug link, uh, send us an email. Or also for the units, something I should have pointed out was that you have, these are all the supported units you can use uh, in in those square brackets. So wherever you specify a number, you can attach units to it, uh, and it can be, you know, it can be per second as well. So you can do um, have relationships between units in there as well. All right, so that's it for now.